once all of your layers are set and you have your universal laser in your plot styles it's time to actually send the laser cut so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the AutoCAD symbol and go to print under the name of the plotter we're going to select laser cutter on some computers this may say VLS 660 um, that's just the name of the laser cutter so if it does not default to laser cutter um, don't be alarmed it should still be there um, when this pop-up comes up we're going to use the default paper size user defined landscape what that will do is it will default our window to 32 by 18 and also in landscape um, this is bit, this is as we talked about earlier this is the size of the actual laser cut bed um, we want to make sure that plot to file is checked what this will allow us to do is save a file from this instead of actually just printing directly to the laser cutter what to plot we want to plot a window so we're going to drag a window from the topmost corner of this to the bottommost corner um, the next thing we want to look at is plot scale so we don't want to fit to paper we want to go one to one so everything that you're drawing in your AutoCAD files should be one to one we should not be um, making anything I don't like to do any scaling changes here I like to scale everything down in the AutoCAD environment first and then do one to one to make sure that you're not making any errors up here we want to change this to universal laser again without universal laser it will not plot properly we do not want to plot object line weights. Um, if you try to plot object line weights, it will actually make all of these lines thick and it will run them as a raster. Um, therefore, it won't cut all the way through your material um, and it's gonna cost you a lot, a lot of money. We do want to plot with plot styles and we want it to be landscape. So as far as this window is concerned, we're good to go. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our properties and set up custom properties. So you have to do this for every single cut that you do um, these are basically going to tell the laser cutter whether it should be cutting etching or not doing anything at all so our black layer what we want to do is go up to mode and we're going to do skip and then we're going to hit set and you should see skip change up here what this will do is make any black lines that you've set up it will actually not allow you to plot those at all um, that way, even if you forget to turn this to a non-printing layer, these lines, um, this will make it so that you're not able to actually plot those. Um, from there, what we're going to do um, is we have our red layer is going to be our etch. Um, so if we go back to our website, power and speed and acceptable materials. So let's say, for instance, we're cutting out of eighth inch, eighth inch acrylic. So 100 power, 7 speed is what we're going to be cutting at. Um, but it doesn't give us any etch settings so what I re would recommend is that you come in and test out etch settings before you run anything final we also do have a couple of samples down at the fabrication workshop that will show you the quality of your etching um, for etching what I like to do is if we go back to our AutoCAD file let's see um, for etching I will always set my speed to a hundred um, that's going to save you the most money because it's going to run the machine as fast as it can possibly go. As far as power is concerned, um, for something like this I would probably go about 25% power. Um, anything around 10 probably won't show up. Um, 25 is usually a good, a good thing for this. So then we'll go to set. Our green is also going to be an etched. These are the etched lines that we were talking about. So we're going to change this to 100 speed because it's an etch. Our power, let's say we'll do 40 for this one. Our yellow, we're not doing anything with. Our blue and our magenta are both going to be cuts. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look at our website. For a cut, we're going to go 100 power and 7 speed. So we're going to change this to 100 power and 7 speed. And you can see when I click on multiple, um, it's going to, you don't have to hold shift or anything, but it will change your settings for all of the layers that you have highlighted. So when I do 107, um, it'll change all of those. Then we're going to click apply. Um, the other thing that you can, the only other things you can change down here that I would recommend um, is for rasters. So for any of your etches, you can technically change the print direction from up to down. Um, I would recommend just leaving it as default. 
click apply, then click OK. You'll get another window that you have to click OK. Click OK again. Um, make sure again that plot to file here is checked. We'll click OK and now we're going to save our file um, as a distinct name. So let's just say test one.